Hello, glaucoma patients and those who want to learn about glaucoma. Um, happy Glaucoma Awareness Month. Um, January is is a month of bringing awareness of glaucoma. Um, I just got done taking my eye drops and now I am going to continue with the types of glaucoma. And this time we are going to be talking about secondary glaucoma. Okay, so according to the Glaucoma Research Foundation, secondary glaucoma, it has to do with any, it can be caused by any other um, diseases or eye conditions like uh, diabetes or cataracts or, um, or tumor or inflammation things like that. Um, even certain drugs can cause secondary glaucoma, like steroids. Um, this form of glaucoma, it could be mild or, or, serve, or severe. Um, and, and this type of glaucoma, it could be um, open angle or second or um, closure angle glaucoma. So it could be it could be these two other common forms of glaucoma, like what I said, open angle and close your ankle glaucoma. Um, also, uh, another type of glaucoma that goes under these uh, under this this um, type of glaucoma, secondary glaucoma, is. Uh, a fake glaucoma is what, which is what I have. Um, so fake glaucoma, it is com it's common f cause of a complication from cataract surgery when you're an infant or a toddler. Um, I I ended up getting the complication um, because I was. I got my cataract surgery when I was an infant, and um, that's a risk because, uh, for some reason, uh, um, for some reason, for some reason, the eyes are still developing, and and uh, also the eyes can become inflamed after surgery sometimes, and just other things that could occur when you're a, an infant when you get cataract surgery. So, so it's a common cause of secondary glaucoma in children. Um, so that's a fake glaucoma. Um, it could be open angle, a fake glaucoma after removal of congenital cataracts varies from 15% of 50 or higher. So fake glaucoma, it's most commonly developed. It most commonly developed develops several years after cataract surgery, although it can occur within weeks to months of surgery and remains a lifelong risk. So even though infants can get cataracts, uh, could get glaucoma right away. Could possibly get glaucoma right away. Sometimes it could occur like years after the infant stage into childhood, and that's what happened with me. I didn't get glaucoma until I was nine years old, and um, I and I ended up um, being diagnosed at age nine and was put on three eye drops. So um, it's different for each child who has a fake glaucoma, but um, that is what happens when children get cataract surgery. They are at risk for glaucoma if they're fake. So yeah. Um, and they do have to have regular exams if they don't have glaucoma right away, 
because it's a, a lifelong risk and it could occur at any time. Like, and so even for those who, those infants who don't get glaucoma right away, they still need to be monitored by an eye doctor um, for the rest of their life. So, yeah. Um, the mechanism is unknown for affected glaucoma. And, um, but they say the angle is usually open on, it's usually open and the outflow channels are, are compromised by some combination of abnormal development of the anterior chamber angle, early surgery, and perhaps susceptibility of the infant eye to surgically induce inflammation and loss of the lens support or vitreous factors can be a cause. Um, and the children at higher risk for developing this type of glaucoma are those who have surgery during infancy and the risk appears highest in patients with microcornea, which I think that means like small eyes. And I have small eyes, so, you know, I was at risk for glaucoma and yeah, but at the time I didn't know about glaucoma and I didn't know I would get it and I had no clue. So, uh, I was at risk for it and I ended up getting it and that's the way it is. Um, there is another type form of glaucoma with getting cataract surgery, but it's like when infants get intraocular intraocular lenses in their eyes but you know they say that they don't usually get glaucoma but you know it's still a possibility they could get it and it's called um this is called pedos pseudo fake glaucoma and it's in children who have who had been reported less frequently than the fake glaucoma but this may be due to the selection. And the children selected for intraocular lens placement have largely been those at lower risk. So they say that intraocular lenses, it, um, it lowers the risk of glaucoma, but it's still important to have them monitored just in case. But, um, you know, it's less likely with these kind of, these kind of patients, young patients. So, anyway, that is the end of talking about secondary glaucoma. Um, next time I will talk about uh, neurovascular glaucoma, and that will be on the next episode. Thank you for listening. And... Let's all have happy and, and healthy eye pressures in 2018. Now, I gotta go. Peace.